हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई विश ऑल ऑफ यू विल बी हेल्थी एंड सेफ सो स्टूडेंट इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई टोल्ड यू हाउ टू इनपुट द एलिमेंट्स इन अ मैट्रिक्स एंड हाउ टू प्रिंट द मैट्रिक्स हाउ टू प्रिंट द एलिमेंट्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मैट्रिक्स सो वी हैव मोर प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू मैट्रिक्स बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द अदर प्रॉब्लम्स यू शुड नो हाउ टू क्रिएट the function to input the matrix and to print the matrix because you have to input the matrix again and again so to resolve this problem first of all we will make the function to input the matrix and printing the matrix okay so let's start so this is the i will take the help of this program you know inputting of matrix right on the Write down the name of the function that will be input matrix. Okay, and what will be your parameter? Your parameter will be your your list. Okay, and your order. You will define. Sorry, there is no need of matrix here. You have to write down only rows and columns. Okay. Next. Okay. Now you have to define matrix. Okay, how many? Oh, sorry. What is the name of your matrix? Initially, it will be blank. I think there is no need of this. Okay, you can use this uh, print statement also. Enter the R into C element. Okay, next you have to use the for loop and this. i am doing nothing i am just copying this code in my function okay so this is the function to input the matrix whenever i need the matrix i will call this function input mat okay and i will pass number of rows and number of columns it's very simple okay and how to print the uh, how to print and one thing you have to remember here you have passed rows and columns so after passing rows and column after calling this function it will return your matrix okay so you have to write down here return what matrix okay so after calling this function it will return your matrix so all elements will be stored in your matrix and you will use return keyword to return the matrix q y y m t r i x m t r x it's correct okay. now next time is printing of matrix inputting inputting of matrix and then printing of matrix so write down this write down the def keyword def print mat and what you write down here i will pass a list that okay print mat so first of all you will find out the number of rows in the matrix so for this we have to use an function so len what matrix so it will return the how many elements you have in a list basically it will return the number of sub list number of rows number of rows in a matrix okay if you want to count the number of columns what are the columns the elements in the sub list to count the elements in the sub list simply pass matrix and here you check this is the address of first sub list so using len function it will return the number of elements in the first sub list that will be your number of columns okay and use the for loop okay it's simple okay i think you have to use so this is the function to input the matrix and this is the function to print the matrix okay using this statement basically i am counting the number of rows and using this statement i am using i am 
counting the number of columns. It's so simple. This for loop is to count the number of rows, and this loop to count the number of columns. Okay. Now run your program. Now enter the matrix element. It's very simple. So write down the. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You have you didn't call the function here. So first of all, call the functions. Okay. Calling a function. Call. First use the matrix will be equals to input. Sorry. Input. The name of the function is input mat. And you have to pass number of rows and number of columns. Okay. Here I am passing two comma two. It means my matrix matrix has two rows and two columns. This is the order of the matrix. Okay. And whenever you call this function, it will return a value that will be of matrix type. Okay. So list type. So I will store this list in your in this matrix here. Okay. It will it is creating the confusion to write down here mat one. Okay. So this is the calling of function. As you call this function, it will create a matrix named mat1. And what and now you have to print the matrix. So I don't print matrix. And what will be the parameter? The parameter will be your matrix. And the matrix is stored in mat1. So write down here mat1. Okay. Now run run your program. So it is asking for the basically whenever we call this function so it, it will ask for the enter the r into c element so it will uh, enter the matrix elements so basically okay 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 sorry 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 you have to run the program this the name of the program is list okay so What is the problem for J in C? For J in C, C, C. Okay, okay. Mm, problem is unexpected indent line number seven, line number seven. Okay, okay. I've got the solution. Okay, the problem is that I have given the more indent. Okay, so reduce the indent. Now, problem is resolved. Okay, now run your program. Enter the four elements because you have passed two by two. Yes, yeah, so it is so that's why it is asking four elements. So one, two, three, and four. So now it is the printing of matrix. Now you have called the function input matrix and print matrix. Whenever you call this function, it will ask for the element, and whenever you print the matrix, it will print the elements in the form of matrix. Okay, students. So now you are able to create the function to input matrix and print matrix okay now now move to the further problems the next problem is okay i have for this session write a program to find the sum of all elements of a matrix so in this program you have to find the you have to all you have to add all the elements of the matrix okay let's see so what i am doing here I will not I will create a new file okay let's see now I am creating a new file okay new and to Python file name of the sum all elements okay. this is the name of the file sum of all elements but here I will use these fun these functions input matrix and print matrix here there is no need to write this code again and again I will use these functions in my file so what we have to do you have to use from what is the name of the uh, your file where the functions are stored that is matrix so write down here from matrix import what you have two functions here or you can have more than two functions here so if you want to import individual function 
then you have to use the name of the function for example import mat or print mat like this so you can use uh, this keyword but i want to import all the functions since your file has only two functions if your file has more than two functions in this case what you will do you cannot write individual function like this in this case what you will do you will use asterisk keyword so asterisk keyword is used to import all the functions in a particular file okay so now so use the function first of all i am calling the mat name of i am inputting a matrix so write down here input function input mat write down the order here it will be of three by three now time to print the matrix now print the values and the name of the matrix is that is matrix okay so now what i am doing here i am using these functions in another file Okay. It is not compulsory that you have to use the function, you have to call this function in the same file, you can call this function in any other file also. But before using this function, you have to import this function using this statement from, this is the name of your Python file and import asterisk. Okay. Now run your program, this sum of all elements. Okay. As you in this program, it will ask for the nine elements because you have passed three by three. So write down here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So it is printing the element print matrix print. Okay, okay, okay. You have to use the print mat. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Now, the both the function are working smoothly. Okay. But my problem is, I have to find out the sum of all elements. Okay. Now, so what is, this is the benefit of using function. Using function, you have reduced a lot of code. Okay. Now, my work is to find out the sum of all elements. So for this, I will take a variable sum. Initially, it will be zero. And for i in range, because you have to access the elements individually, that's why you have to use both loop, outer loop and inner loop. Okay. Range. How many how many rows we have? You have three rows. Put right down here three. And for j in range, how many columns we have? We have three columns. So write down here three. And sum equals to sum plus what is the name of the matrix the name of the matrix is matrix so matrix write down here i and g okay this is the way to access the element each element individually but one thing you have to remember whenever you input the values these are in the form of a string so you have to convert all these numbers into integers so write down here int keyword okay it will convert all Individual, uh, individual elements into integer. Okay. Now time to print the result. Write down the result. Print sum of all elements equals to the result is stored in sum. So write down here sum. Okay. Now enter nine elements. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is the sum of all elements. Okay, students. So now we have all many problems. So it is not possible to cover all the problems in this video. So these problems are for you. Okay. Find the sum of each row and each column. What you have to do? You have to find the sum individually sum of first row, sum of second row, sum of third row, and sum of first column, second column, and third column like this. Program to find the transpose of the matrix. What is the transpose of the matrix? To convert rows into column and column into rows is known as transpose of matrix, okay? Program to find the elements of each diagonal of a matrix. Suppose you have a matrix like this. So this is the diagonal. So the element eight, 
3, 6. These elements are diagonal elements. So you have two diagonals. This is the first diagonal and this is the second diagonal. So here you have 3, 3 and 5. This is your second diagonal. Okay. So write a program to print the upper triangular of matrix. What is upper triangular of matrix? The upper part of the matrix. This triangular. So here 8, 3, 6, 6, 3, 6. So this is this is your upper triangular of matrix. Okay. The bottom part 8, 3, 6, 6, 5, 2. So this part is your lower triangular part of the matrix. Okay. So now so find the sum of all matrix sum of two matrices okay and in this program what you have to do you have to take two mat uh, two matrices and you have to find the sum of these two matrices and you have to store the result in the third matrix okay and the next program to find the multiplication of two matrices okay students so this is your home assignment try to solve all these problems if you have any problem you are if you are not able to create the problem so we will discuss about it in online class so thank you students have a nice day be healthy be safe